to their people. So if their fans want to call them, if they really want to take those that many calls, depending on how popular you are, you can take this to a whole other level. And if you really, really are, as an artist, really believe in your music and you are true to getting yourself out there, then you would definitely look more into the system and not wait until it becomes bigger before you uh, miss the boat and not like you're gonna miss it because you ain't going anywhere. But understand what the system can do and how you can give yourself more exposure and for people to be able to reach you. And since you want to be reached in this way, you can uh, you can now broaden your horizon. You can there's no limitation to your surroundings, and you don't have to wait for the call back from the radio. I mean uh, the record companies call them back. Keep telling them I got the money. I'll call you back. It doesn't matter, you know. So there's no limitations to it right now for an artist. But, but uh, can an artist decide from which part of the world he wants people to listen to him? Like, can he say, I want 100,000 persons in Senegal to listen to me, exactly. and uh, half a million in China? Yeah, is he, is he able to do that? That's what's great about it. Uh, I think the artists can, depending on what type of music they have or where their, uh, their market is, they can say, hey, look, the type of music I'm making, I know it's going to do well in Ireland, for instance. Uh, the people that's calling from Ireland, I would like it if they could listen to. It's almost like what it is, like target marketing. You you mark you target your marketing group where you where you aim to, so they can actually have that set for them. So now the demographic for them is to do their homework, who's listening to their music on MySpace. So coupled with MySpace and yo, know, you can now have your your music going directly to this particular market. And once they get bigger, and let's say Ireland, then you move over to the states, and you can shift this from let's say month to month, well let's say two, six months, just let people hear your music. But it's really up to you. Like I said before, you're putting it now in your hands. So now you are controlling your marketing via the system. Uh, you can get, yeah, if, if it's 30 to 25 would like to listen to your music, same thing. Not just necessarily limited to the country, but it's also the age group. If the people who are listening to your music are between 28 and 35, then those are the kind of people you can target. Because it doesn't matter if you're in China. There's also people in Asia, I mean, in uh, Ireland, who listen to the same music. So look at the age groups, your target groups, the countries, the region. There's no limit. There's nothing, like I said, it's self explanatory. Worldwide, you can do everything for yourself in this way. You can uh, target your groups. You can let people buy it. If they like it at that moment, they can download it. They can download it even to an MP3. So I think the possibilities for us to keep developing, to see how far the artists now can push us. So rather than us looking at it and saying, what can we do for the artists, the artists now can also tell us, hey, can you do this? Can we do this? Give us some ideas. How can we get you out there better? What else can we do? Uh, something we haven't thought of. Um, right now, I don't see any limitations to it. Thanks, son. Cool as always. You're entertainment. You make the show, bro. <laughs> <laughs>